good evening sir and batchmates today we are going to discuss guerrilla marketing our group two members include dr dadaniya ash madhu dasari fawaz ahmed sheik ganga vasu harman kaur chawla hemant sandosh dandalaya jamadar azaruddin ansar ali janani balasubramanyam k surya teja poojita koshika and kavuri sneetredi i am so happy seeing that slide and seeing you reading out those names that's very important that the team spirit all the best go ahead coming to guerrilla marketing guerrilla marketing is the art and science of breaking conventional marketing rules bypassing the traditional outlets and using uncommon sense to reach people with marketing messages coming to the guerrilla history of guerrilla marketing the term guerrilla comes from guerrilla warfare yeah. in which soldiers use quick unexpected attacks followed by fast retreats rather than fighting for prolonged periods out in the open yes like guerrilla warfare guerrilla marketing messages appear seemingly out of nowhere making a big impression on onlookers before quickly disappearing and the term guerrilla guerrilla was coined first coined by j conrad conrad levinson in 1984 in his book guerrilla marketing and the idea of guerrilla marketing is to generate a buzz and ideally to turn viral and it is a cost effective alternate to large advertising campaigns next slide please yes LTT and used to fight the war. LTT, you know, in uh, Sri Lanka, those days they used to call them guerrilla, guerrilla war. It's like quick attacks, quickly retreat and get back, hide and seek, you know, game like that. All the best. Go ahead. Sir, so coming to guerrilla versus viral, there is a slight misconception that is uh, there is a difference between guerrilla and viral marketing. But actually, both of these marketing types goes hand in hand. Uh, when coming to viral marketing, it indicates digital word of mouth marketing. like viral marketing get its name from the way in which physical viruses spread like corona like which each individual unit replicating ceaselessly creating exponential growth a viral marketing campaign relies on social media sharing and other online word of mouth tactics to reach large number of people through their friends and contacts yeah. and here i want to mention one example uh, difference between the guerrilla and viral uh, in 2008 for promoting the hollywood film the dark knight and coming to guerrilla marketing they used mobile billboard trucks uh, like uh, on the mobile billboard trucks they displayed this poster of dark knight and these trucks display this poster virtually anywhere quickly moving on to cover different cities in the state uh, so that uh, advertising right in front of the people like moving on the roads etc and coming to viral marketing the producer the production company of the dark knight that is warner bros created a fake political campaign website for harvey dent harvey dent he is a character in the movie they created a fake political campaign website providing the fans with shareable campaign posters and other tools to spread the hype it is a viral marketing like wow. both of the marketing goes hand in hand like the result the intended result of guerrilla marketing is for it to go viral that is there is a slight difference between them but both of them goes hand in hand yes so like uh, good morning everyone i am fawaz ahmed sheik Yes. So here we can see that, as Sura has already said, that it is the whole the whole thought provoking concept to generate a viral buzz and to turn it into viral thing. That is the aim of guerrilla marketing. The objective of guerrilla mar- marketing is to eventually turn it viral to make it spread among people. Wow. But this is done through many types. And here we can see the different types: ambush marketing, astroturfing, mass marketing, guerrilla projection, grassroots marketing, stealth marketing, street marketing, and wild posting, which are going to see in the next slides. Lovely. So the first thing we have here is stealth marketing. this is also known as buzz marketing and this is a marketing strategy where the people we are marketing to them but they have no idea that they are being marketed to wow. and there it is it is done in two ways that is very well known first thing is placement product placement you're going to see an ad or a movie you will suddenly see coca cola you see some other phone company which is being sh- explicitly shown in that movie there's no other brand so that is a stealth marketing to towards you and then there is undercover marketing which is also a more devious kind of marketing but it, there is still under debate as you can see over here uh, this is stealth marketing there the zebra lining has been replaced by mcdonald french fries and so people when they looking at that they will remember it and they might get hungry and they might go to eat so okay. as you can see this is not done to generate immediate sales there is no actual profit for the company but this will create interest in people they will start talking with each other in the next slide we can see an example also so this is an example of sony erection which marketed their mobile t681 using fake tourists they paid actors to act like tourists to go to people and tell them take my photo please and give them the phone when so when the people took the photo of these tourists the tourists will tell them specific lines that sony wow. told them to tell the people oh and God. this way they the, the people are somewhat interested in the phone and they might even buy the phone 
but actually this got lots of negative reception towards the company but oh. you might think why the company followed it in fact their marketing cost were only 4 million dollars which is actually very less compared to a billboard or something else like that another example would be of some cigarette companies in which they they pay people to smoke the cigarette publicly and just offer it to people who are walking by and if the people like it they will ask the name of the brand and you know they might they might turn people into customers so this was stealth marketing next will be taken by my batchmates yes good afternoon sir and batchmates i'll be dealing with astro turfing type of marketing but before going before uh, about astro turfing type of marketing let us know what are uh, grassroots participants these grassroots participants cause grassroots movements which uh, use self organization and is the community members to contribute taking responsibility and action for their community so the marketers use these grassroots participants and cause astro turfing type of marketing generally uh, astro turf uh, is this type of marketing is a practice of masking the sponsors of a message or an organization to make it appear as though it originates from and supported by the grassroots participants like uh, we can take an example where uh, <coughs> politicians or social uh, media campaigns where the actual message will be given by some other persons but uh, these grassroots participants make in uh, spreading these social messages which is actually done by masked by original where they will be having their other intentions by the uh, owners of the this type of marketing wow oh my god yes absolutely yeah this is practiced by politicians yes sir this uh, generally social media campaigns and other political party campaigns are this example of astro turfing and the uh, next will be continued by my teammates sir thank you it's working wonders sure good afternoon sir and batchmates i'll be talking about ambush marketing ambush marketing is the practice of uh, hijacking or copying another advertiser's campaign to raise awareness about our own brand and this can be very effective as it leads to massive media attention first ambush marketing was first found in uh, 1992 uh, during the winter olympics in spain so visa card was the uh, sponsor for winter, winter olympics and so they made an ad uh, which stated that uh, stated american card holders to leave their cards at home and come uh, because the uh, cards won't be accepted american express cards won't be accepted but then american express cards were accepted other than the tickets like they could use it for car rentals and uh, housing for staying and all but then that wasn't uh, explained properly in the ad so american express then created an ad which said like uh, in the next year summer olympics uh, to leave all the visa card holders i mean visa cards to leave uh, at their home so this was first done in 1992 and this was first known as uh, parasite marketing which then changed to ambush marketing next wow interesting thank you so much next yeah this is another one about a uh, bmw and audi car so first bmw had a rally and uh, which uh, it advertised it stating that a bmw la- uh, rally with two nearby service centers what's next paramedics at chest tournament this wasn't directed at audi but then uh, audi took it as a challenge and they made a billboard stating chess no thanks i'll be rather di- driving and then uh, without waiting for another comeback they made another poster stating your move next bmw so bmw opposite to the billboard they made another billboard bmw as you can see here uh, written checkmate and then again uh, audi made another one stating your pawn is no match for a king and finally bmw they made this blimp this aeroplane on top of the bm uh, audi poster audi uh, this one so this this was this when we see it it leads to more marketing because so many cars are being advertised so we can market more that's it thank you interesting thank you very much interesting thank you wow thank you yes good good evening to all like i am i am here to discuss about the ambient marketing so this is the method is used to create brand recognition without the necessary pushing its product and generally ambient advertisements are like uh, what looks like traditional advertising however people would usually never forget them so ambient marketing is about uh, placing ads on unusual objects or in a unusual places where you wouldn't usually expect to have an advertisement right so the possibilities of ambient marketing are endless 
and everything and anything can be used. If you see here the picture, like a speaker has been placed on the high voltage box, depicting that Duracell batteries are used. Second is the very cost effective advertisement in Hong Kong for a yoga school. It is very like the if you consider the price of the advertisement, it is very much, very much less. And the third one is the advertisement by the Jung Won Mall for the watchmaker IWC. They use the bus press for the fashion for images of watches and big pilot boards. So this is the this is the talk about the Indian marketing. Next topic we will be discuss my group next. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, so I am talking about the experimental marketing. Uh, this method is uh, perhaps hardest to define. It is giving a con consumer a chance to experience your product and emotional response. Means uh, what we do in experimental marketing, we connect the consumer emotionally with our product. So I will. It is hardest to explain. So I will show one video to you. Uh, Madhu sir, can you play the video of this? slide oh. good job it's coming it's, it is great. yes sir so what it it is the advertisement done by the coca cola uh, during the football for the football world cup okay so so what what they use they use uh, they use AR in Jurisman train station. So what they did, they say they use the setup and they use one player who was very famous. So yes. Wow. Okay. So it is the AR experience. Virtually. Uh. Means the uh, video is not uh, playing properly, so we ca means it is hard to understand. But uh, means this advertisement was uh, wow. interesting, really good for experimental, very innovative. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Experiential marketing, very good. Experiential, so they are helping the customers experience it. When yes, experience sir. Yes, sir. It, you get emotionally attached to it. Thank you very much. Next, done. Uh, Team two? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are done, sir. Great job. Great job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes. Ambush. 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 Ambush means hide and seek, like you you hide and attack. So uh, and you 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 attack from here, you attack from there. People would not know where you will be attacking, when you will be attacking, and you would not be seen. You don't appear, and you are, you know, somebody's attacking you, and you know, uh, that's what it is. Uh, you know, it's guerrilla warfare. That's how they, they, they fight the war. The enemy will not be, your competitor will not be able to see you, and you are, you are fighting the battle, stealth battle, stealth bombers. There, there's something called stealth bombers, you know, stealth bombers are those bombers. The aircraft bomb, the the aircraft, you know, the bombers, who will not, which will not be detected by your by your enemy. They cannot detect you. You will be traveling at that ultrasonic speed or whatever it is at that height at that speed, where you know your enemy will not be able to detect you. That's called stealth bomber. So similarly, you are doing something, and your competition would not know, and you are sometimes even your your uh, your uh, target would not know. And you are attacking the target. Great job. Thank you very much. So